good morning guys what is up it is literally the middle of the night right now i decided to pull an all-nighter instead of sleeping a little bit and then waking up for the airport and being super tired um i might regret it tomorrow not really sure yet but i am headed to la and you guys are coming with me i'm so excited i've never been to la before and i am going with jules and mackenzie if you haven't seen my miami vlog definitely go watch that because i was there with them and it was so much fun and we're about to have a blast again i'm sure so i'm gonna be there for five days and i can't Cannot wait to see them. I've seen Mackenzie a few times throughout the summer, but I haven't seen Jules since Miami. So we are going to stay with her and she's gonna show us all around LA. So here we go. Okay, first of all, I my own fault. First of all, I went to the wrong terminal. So I had to run two terminals down the street in the dark with all my luggage and I was scared, so I was booking it. Um, then I got to the right terminal. Uh, no, 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 not terminal, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying. Sorry, it's four in the morning. I got to the right gate. I don't even know what I'm saying. If there's either of this terminal gate, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, the place where you drop your bags off. I got to the right one, finally, and they didn't open till 3.30 and I got there at like 2.55, so I was the first one in line. Also the first one at my gate, or is it my terminal? <laughs> This gate has the best food I've ever seen in the Philadelphia airport. I usually fly Southwest and I'm flying American, but they're all closed because it's 4 a.m. But I'm starving. Like, I'm so hungry. And Chick fil A doesn't open until 5 30, and my plane boards at 5 25, so that's like too risky. I might still try it though because, like, Chick fil A is my favorite. I'm exhausted. But I'm gonna take some melatonin, hopefully crash on the plane so that way when I get there I'll be ready to roll. It's been a little bit of a rocky start but now that I'm here I feel so much better and I'm gonna try and do some work on my computer. I might just chill and listen to a podcast, not really sure. Might watch a movie on the plane for a little bit then sleep but now I have to sleep. I have to sleep. Um, I can't wait to get to LA. It's gonna be good. I need to go to sleep. Little glimpse into my life. Literally, this is just my bag with my bra, laptop, purse, inside my purse, claw clip. Ooh, the floor is gross. I need to pick this thing up. Ew. Okay, we are starting off strong. My favorite. I literally would take Chick fil A over a five star dinner. I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million more. Is that beep kidding me? A million times and we'll say the speed. We made it. I'm going to baggage claim now and then I'm going to meet up with Mackenzie. Flight wasn't bad. It was like five and a half hours. I thought it was going to be six. So, not bad, but I'm so excited to be here. Got this iced coffee. It's cookie butter. It's literally so good. I'm about to see her. So, let's go find her. Look who I found! <laughs> Okay guys, we have arrived. We are at Jules's apartment. We are about to go get lunch and here's Miss Mackenzie sporting her Swedish fish slash 70s get up and Jules looking chic as ever. Thank Thanks for having us Jules. So excited to hang out again and I can't wait to show you guys around LA. I didn't introduce myself in the beginning of this vlog but if you guys are new here, my name is Sam. Um, we are in LA for the week. Jules and Mackenzie and I have traveled to Miami together before and we are back reunited in LA for five days and I've never been here before. I was here for a layover one time before we went to Cabo but this is my first real time here and I could not be more excited. So here we go. So Jules has created a chic level scale for us on where we're gonna eat. So right now we're going to Henry's and she said it's about a six to seven. Obviously zero being the least chic and 10 being the most chic. We classify as zero because- Yeah, what is your zero? In and out? In and out. Oh. So what is in and out? Maybe one is a, maybe in and out is a blind. Oh, like, what? Yeah, that's trendy. Yeah, it is trendy. That's like a good Instagram pic. Like we might yeah. still like, yeah. Okay, first LA meal starting off strong. I got a gigantic turkey club. Look how big this thing is. And then Mackenzie got a honey chicken sandwich. Yep, crispy chicken. Jules got a chic salad. <laughs> you know, her and her green over there. Look, she's looking so hot. All right, my, I need my napkin back and forth. <laughs> Done. Yeah. So our lunch was really good. That was yeah. the first time I've actually ordered a turkey club. Super random because I know that's like a basic meal, but it was so good. The fries were amazing too. Mackenzie said she'd give her lunch at 10. I would say probably like an eight-ish, nine-ish maybe. Mine was just our waiter was really cool and funny and stuff. I, I don't know. The fries were good and the, the chicken sandwich was the perfect mix of like spicy but sweet. See, I'm not a big spice girl. I don't know yeah, if I would have what do you think about your oh, choice? Oh, I have to rate mine? Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't. I okay. like this place. Yeah. <laughs> My salad just wasn't it today. Okay, all right, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> This is my third coffee today. I think I needed it though, because like I said, I only slept for like four hours, but the vibes are immaculate here. You guys, like that's Hollywood Hills, dude. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Okay, so Mackenzie is vlogging directly behind me. We are actually staying at a hotel the first two nights because Mackenzie is working with Sonder, so that's awesome. And then we're gonna stay with Jules for the rest of the nights. But this seems like a really cool hotel. We haven't gone in yet, but we're taking a couple pictures outside and then we're gonna head in. And then I think we're gonna go to Pump for drinks. Um, if you watch Vanderpump Rules, it's literally like one of my favorite shows right now. So I'm super excited to go there. But we're about to check in and the weather here has been amazing. It's really cool. It's like an indoor outdoor hotel. So all of our rooms, are connected from the outside. This is our room. They have like all these cool little tables. They have a lot of greenery and there's like a little restaurant here. It seems really, really nice. And I love like all the natural light and everything. Dude, I ate a lot today and like I understand, but I just sat down and broke the bed. Like I just sat down and broke the bed. The entire half of the bed just fell to the ground, but Mackenzie fixed it. We're about to go get dinner. We're gonna go to pump. Woo! Can we no, because I can't talk over you. Okay, so Mackenzie and I are on our way to Pump. We just got changed into our second outfit. We actually just went to the bar here and the bartender was amazing. We had a really great conversation with her and we drank a little bit of rosé and then we just came back and got changed. We're gonna go get some food and drinks tonight and then we're just gonna come back here and probably call it quits early because we've been up like all night. But so far so good, Ellie's been treating us really well. Right now I have on this little mini dress from Shopo, the rifted lime shirt and the same seam bat and moots as I had from earlier. I will put pictures in the side from my outfit from today. Wow, look at this view. Holy Okay, we just arrived at Pump. I've literally been watching Vanderpump Rules for months now, actually years, but most recently just months because I've been catching up a lot. But it's like so awesome to actually be here. It's so wild, I can't believe it. I've been waiting for Jules right now and I'm gonna get a table and get some drinks, so. First drink that I got, it is a strawberry. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> we got this little hummus platter. So chic. So chic, she said. <laughs> Dad, it's just like a natural word for me, guys. Like I told you guys, I've been watching, like binging Vanderpump Rules like crazy. Like, like I just put it on in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, do you, do you guys know how much footage I had to edit out in New York? Because every time I talked, Mackenzie would just talk over me. Like half my New York footage, I had to cut out because Mackenzie would just talk while I was talking. <laughs> we had such a good time at Pump last night. We um, got really good drinks there and we got like a good hummus board type thing. I'm like right now doing my hair to put my extensions in. So right now we're gonna go to Rodeo Drive and walk around, get some food, um, shoot one outfit, come back at change, shoot another outfit. And then we're heading to Hermosa Beach tonight because Mackenzie has a meeting with a woman who she might do an internship with next summer there. So I'm kind of excited for that to see what it's like and everything. Tomorrow I think we're going to Malibu and Santa Monica, but things have been so cool here so far. Like I've been really loving it. Just want to give you guys an update because I feel like we've been like just running around so much, but it's like kind of late right now. It's like noon. We're getting very late start today, but we like kind of had to sleep, you know, like from the plane and everything we were all, well, Mackenzie and I were really exhausted. Jules was tired too. So it really worked out good, but when I see you guys again, I'll be all ready and have makeup on. How about that for a transition? Okay, we are off to Rodeo Drive. Kenzie and I stopped to get something to eat on our way to Rodeo, so she just got this melt. I'm still waiting for mine to come out. It is literally such a beautiful day outside. It's so crazy. The weather here is just perfect. And this isn't at all what I expected. Like there's so many stores and it reminds me of florida in a way but the weather is like not as humid that's like the best way i can describe it it's kind of like sarasota florida but a little nicer obviously because we're from beverly hills but i found that i'm the kind of person that like i need sunshine when it's not sunny i get like very bad seasonal depression and it's so nice for me like in the fall or winter to go somewhere warm i've like noticed such a big difference in my mood so that's been helping a lot. I've been in a very good mood since we've been here. We are gonna eat, shoot a few pictures every day drive, and I'll show some clips of the street and everything what it looks like. I'll put some pictures. Sorry, oh my gosh. So embarrassing, guys. Thank you. Oh, it looks so cute. Look, my food just came. Look at this little thing. It's a little breakfast bowl. It smells so good. Okay, I have to eat this. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, I'll insert the pictures from a day drive here. We stopped at this little Mediterranean bakery. I wanted to get something sweet, so I'm gonna get a croissant really quick. <clears throat> so, um, I got a 
um, and croissant from that little bakery. You guys know me, I have such a bad sweet tooth. What we got for breakfast slash lunch was good, but like I'm the type of person that needs like three meals a day and we've only really been eating two, so I needed like an extra snack after our breakfast slash lunch, but I'm really excited for Deo Drive. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. So clean and beautiful and like, it's just like chrome. Mackenzie and I are in a farm because if you've seen the New York vlog, Mackenzie likes to walk really fast in front of me, but she's really bad at navigation. Like she can't navigate where we're going, so I do. But I'm behind her and then she just like chooses her own way to go. And then I get frustrated, so we're in a tiff. Like the way Mackenzie and I work is like, we have a great time together and we're together obviously the entire duration of every trip. So we have about like six to 10 fights a day, I would say, but they last like 30 seconds. But I guess that's better than like, <laughs> she thinks more than six to ten. No, we actually fight all the time. Like, I've never had a friend where, like, I get so annoyed with someone all the time. Then we have the best time, like, five minutes later, if that makes sense. It's not something that ever, I get really mad at her for, like, ten seconds, but then I, I'm over it in, like, five, you know? But look where we are! It's Rodeo Drive! It's so crazy here. Wow. So we're heading into Tiffany and I had these studs that I was in love with and then I lost one So I'm thinking about buying replacements because I used to use those all the time So maybe but we'll see how it goes when I go in there. So uh, close but no cigar on the earrings They didn't have them there. We did see a $70,000 necklace though, which like I can't even comprehend that $70,000 for a necklace Wild. First celebrity sighting James Charles. <laughs> we were just walking and James Charles is getting interviewed, which is kind of crazy because like I always watch his makeup videos. But I was saying to her, I like, I wonder if we're gonna see anyone over here, but we did, so that's cool. Wow, this is so cool. Took a trip to the roof? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best Uber driver ever. Wow, look how pretty it is here, guys. Oh my god, guys, we just got to Hermosa Beach, and I'm not kidding we'll you. We'll see you back in six Yeah, like, <laughs> I think we literally found where we belong. Like, I think, and I knew this sounds so dramatic, but like this, I've never seen a place that I, I've liked more. It's like such like a chill surfer town vibe. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. Yeah. The shops are so cool. We're about to go into the store Mackenzie might do her internship in right here. It's Mackenzie's aunt, who she might intern with next summer. We're about to go get dinner, and we're about to go up and take some pictures on the rooftop. This is like truly one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's like the Jersey Shore mixed with Hawaii. This is awesome. Okay, so I decided that Mackenzie's gonna do her internship here next summer because we need to move here, I think. Look how cool. This isn't even doing it justice. Mackenzie, what are our thoughts about Hermosa Beach? When you see us here on June 1st, you heard it here first. Who are you, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Let's take the tag off. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I still have my tag on. That's so embarrassing. Okay, wait. Outfit check. Hoops Forever 21. This jumpsuit romper is from Free People. Boots are Franco Certo, Mackenzie. And then where's your outfit from? Princess Polly Target. Tonight's meal looks so good. We got truffle fries, fried chicken sandwich, and this pesto pizza. Me and Mackenzie are doing splitsies. And her aunt Tip got the scale salad. We are hanging out here. This is such a cool place. Look, so everyone's here hanging out, like watching the game and stuff. It's called Tower 12. Go Eagles. Well, they lost, but Beauty. I'm from Philly, so. Are you gonna steal him? No, I love him. Oh. <laughs> So we just had a really good dinner. Mackenzie and I split that pizza and fried chicken sandwich. And now we're headed back to Beverly Hills. Mackenzie's aunt is gonna drop us off. It's super nice. We Ubered here. But I love this place. Like it reminds me, it literally is like perfectly on brand, like surf shop, Roxy, like Quicksilver, like all that stuff that like I'm obsessed with that like I wish, I wish that I was. Like look, look, what did I just say, Quicksilver? Like Quicksilver, Billabong, Hurley, like they're all like surf shop capital. And there's been a boy, there's been a boy playing his ukulele here for literally hours. Sappy's so cute. 
So I just gave the oily boy five dollars because ever since I've been waitressing, I'm like the way that if someone gives you like a little bit of an extra tip makes your day is like no other, and he was so excited. I'll never see him again, but it's okay. I think it made his night. So Mackenzie and I have been in her aunt's store after hours for like an hour and a half after dinner, getting new jewelry. So literally, I just like revamped my whole jewelry situation. I got this <laughs> up here, and then I've always had the Samantha one. I've always, I've always had that. But then I got this sun, this ring, and this bracelet, and I'm literally so excited because I am so, so bad with jewelry. The Samantha one is the first one I've ever worn consistently in my life, and I've only had it for like a year. So so I love that I finally have like an adult cool looking stack. But yeah, we did good. We literally, Mackenzie got some stuff too, but she doesn't have hers on. She's not sporting it like I am. But yeah, we did we did good in here. Oh my gosh. Good morning. I just had my hair stuck in the blow dryer. Mackenzie had to get it out for me. This dumbass. I use a blow dryer. You have to yeah, go. Yeah, I have never once been attacked by a blow dryer like that. Really? No, it like sucked all my hair back through the back of it. That's because she put her hair right by the neck. Oh my god. Okay, good morning, guys. That was something. But we're checking out of our hotel soon. We're getting ready. We are headed to Malibu and Santa Monica today. This morning I woke up really early and I I wasn't tired so I didn't go back to bed I just like did some stuff on my phone some editing and some like to know it links and then I went for a little bit of a run through West Hollywood I ran past Sir Pump Tom Tom all of those because like I said I'm a big Vanderpump Rules fan right now and then I got a smoothie and came back here showered and today we're hanging out with Jules and she's taking us all around so I can't wait to show you guys because apparently people say that Malibu is like one of the most beautiful places Okay, so we're shooting a few outfits this morning before we check out. I actually put on my outfit again for the first day because I didn't film with a TikTok in it and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna shoot an outfit for Mackenzie really quick and then we're gonna continue to film this TikTok that we did in New York that did really well. So we're doing it for California as well, just to like showcase all our outfits. Um, and then Jules is gonna pick us up in about an hour. We're gonna shoot at some palm trees and then we're headed to Malibu. This rooftop is awesome. Just got to this super awesome street with all these amazing palm trees and we're gonna shoot some content really quick together. Crazy, cause it's like 20 degrees almost, I feel like warmer than it was this morning when I ran. Behind the scenes, Mackenzie is getting low for jewels over here. Just put on outfit number two. This blazer set is from Pretty Little Thing and then I just have this Ralph Lauren baseball cap on, bralette from Urban and the Converse again. Yeah, woo, looking good. My head starts shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Go to the beach in Malibu just to check it out and then yeah, we're gonna get some food here. I love the concept of the so mountains funny. and the beach being right next to each other because like I've there. seen mountains before in Arizona and obviously I've seen the beach at the Jersey Shore and everything, but I've never seen them like this close together and it's really, really beautiful. We listened to Malibu by Miley Cyrus in the car three times on the Pacific Coast Highway. So we're living our best life right now. We're doing really well. So this is our first time touching the water in the Pacific Ocean, right? For me it is. For me as well. Not Jules though. Jules has touched a lot of oceans. We haven't. But look, we are right now. Woo! We're about to shoot a little bit of content and then we're gonna go eat. Actually, I can see the restaurant that we're gonna go to. It's called Malibu Farms. We actually went to like the sister restaurant back in Miami. Super good, so we're gonna head there. Shut the f up. Yeah guys, I just wanted to come on here and let you know that. Instagram is fake. <laughs> Instagram's fake. She was doing a pose and I told her it didn't look good. And now No, she didn't say that doesn't look very good. She said, you look so f stupid. <laughs> I said, okay, oh, well like tell me why. Like give me the correction. She doesn't give me correction. She only gives me credit. Your camera is like so contrasty, but like in such a good way. Like mm -hmm. my the camera? saturation is like so high. Mm -hmm. This is my camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me. me. Get away from me. Unsubscribe to her. <laughs> I like can't believe I'm here. We were just talking about it and like it's so crazy because four months ago I didn't know either of them and now I'm in Malibu with them. Like I would have never thought that I was going to California this year or Malibu or anywhere I went with them. But yeah, so Jules, Mackenzie and I, we literally met four months ago and now we're like so close. So we're actually planning like a few other trips as well, but it's just like really wild because we met 
in July and we went to swim week and then we planned this. I was saying to them we went out to eat. If you would have told me a year ago today that I would be at Pump like eating dinner with you guys, I would be like, there's no way. Like if I could have seen myself a year from now type of thing, last year to this year, like I would have never thought that I would be here with them. But just crazy how life works, you know? Just like a, a realization I had, but I've been having a really good time with them. So we're about to go into Malibu Farms and they have this like really cute little Malibu banana here and they're playing like Miley Cyrus. I got this broccoli flatbread type thing and Mackenzie got these nachos. I just paid $35 for broccoli on, on cardboard. I mean, it tasted good, but it literally was like tofu mixed with broccoli with like tiny quinoa things. And like, I just spit on myself. It was like $35, bro. But look Get at all these latte. people. Hi, Get boys. Server boys. 30 for nachos. Soggy. Bite. Ew, her nachos were like not it either. It was like ground beef and they were soggy and like I felt bad for her a little bit. But me and Mackenzie are filming one of those TikToks again, like I said, and uh, I like ate shit in front of the little restaurant trying to film it, but hopefully it'll go viral and it'll be worth it. Content creators behind the scenes. This is what it looks like and we can't find anything to wear in this whole park. I'm gonna shoot this romper really quick because it's Jules's, but Jules is 5'2 and I'm 5'7 and it is so short, like it's so short, but I think I can make it work. It's just like, you know. But we're at Santa Monica Pier, look. It's kind of hard to see. I'll show you guys when we get up there. I'm like literally doing a terrible job showing you. Where is the Ferris wheel? There it is. Look, look, look. Ah. Okay, we're gonna go on the Ferris wheel too. The amount of people that are laughing at me in this outfit is like astronomical because my shorts, they, they are extremely short. But we all kind of look wild right now. Like we all kind of are serving what no one at the pier is. <laughs> So like everyone else is kind of just here to hang out, like you know? And we're kind of just like rolling up, all hands on deck, yeah, engines blazing. Is, these are outfits for riding the Ferris wheel with children. <laughs> you only live once. Got our ride cards and we're about to ride all in the Ferris wheel. Woo! So cool. So cool up here. Santa Monica Pier was a success and now we're headed to dinner. We're going to, uh, Mackenzie thinks it's a French restaurant, Jules thinks it's American. I don't really know what I think, so I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. So ever since we've been here, we've been rating everything on a chic level because Jules is super chic and we're not. So like when we go to a restaurant, we'll be like, Jules, what's the chic level? And she'll be like, ah, like a seven. But we just walked past a rat on the boardwalk and Mackenzie goes, chic level negative 10. I got it. Everyone else is very casual and normal, like, like very, very I'm casual. Sure and we're literally like in outfits where like people have been taking photos of as we're walking like it's like not normal look at this like we have floral boots floral dress boots and then i'm wearing a denim denim underwear i look like the naked cowboy like i look like the naked cowboy stop it that was the best thing you've ever said i am cowboy. the naked cowboy in los angeles I... oh my gosh you can't tell how much stuff we're sitting on right now but literally like the only way that we're getting to jules's apartment like like our suitcases had to take shotgun because like we are like like this is a, this is where the floor should be and it's equal to my on the seat and like this is what we're working with right now Okay, so in true Sam Sutter fashion, I left my vlog camera at home when we went to eat, but it was really good. We had some cool appetizers. I got steak and steak fries, and then I had this really cool like pineapple dessert, and we went up on the rooftop for a little bit and shot some pictures and stuff. It was really pretty, and now we're just like in for the night, I think, drink some wine and watch a movie or something. But we're gonna hike to the Hollywood sign tomorrow, so I think we're gonna call quits early tonight and maybe about tomorrow night. So, good night, guys. Good morning guys, it is Saturday. We are about to hike to the Hollywood time. We're gonna go to Alfred's and get some coffee and bagels. And, and then we're gonna be major tourists and go see the Hollywood sign. So I'm really excited. We have on just like these little athletic sets. Mine's from Beach Riot. And I'll see you there. We 
might get a free gun or snipe. Oh, she also just said to me, Hi, what, what day would you want to come in? Who? Neighbor? Oh, oh my god. So we're about to go hike. Like, the views of the city are amazing from up here. And the hills are so cool. And definitely something I'm not used to, like I said, from the East Coast. So we don't have them there. Were you not hopped there? We don't have, like, hills like this. Like, where I'm from in Jersey, I mean, some people, that, that's, that's like not true. Places in PA have like mountains and stuff, but where I'm from in Jersey, it's very flat. Like, nothing like what we're seeing out these windows. Like, yeah, that's look true. at this, guys. It's crazy. Right behind these trees, it's right up there. It took us a while to get here. Poor Jules has been navigating us for literally probably an hour to get us to see this. There she is, the Hollywood story. <laughs> I can't. No! Yeah! We made it to see her. We're at Lake Hollywood Park right now. I've never seen a sign like this before. Interesting. Obviously, I've seen it on TV a million times, never in person. We didn't do much of a hike. Okay, my suggestion is if you're gonna go to the Hollywood sign, in order to hike here, apparently it's like a really long hike. There's a three mile to eight mile trail. It looks like there's about four. The shortest one, obviously, like I said, is three miles, but I don't think you get as good of a view from there. The only one where you get an amazing view is the eight mile hike, so only do that if you're like really yeah. into fitness. We drove here and got a great view. <laughs> Okay, God, I have to literally edit my clips so much because Mackenzie talks over me and is rude to me and literally all of them. But anyway, like I was saying, I'll put the address that we came below. We are at Lake Hollywood Park. So on our way home, we stopped to see the Walk of Fame because we literally were driving right past it. So I didn't realize it was like this. Like it's on both sides of the sidewalk and it's like very, very long. So there's a lot of people. Wow, there's a lot of blank ones too. Maybe I'll be on there. <laughs> Probably not, but maybe, maybe one day. You guys know I had to find a thrift store. It's called Iguana Thrift, so it sounds promising. We're in the Uber, we're on our way to dinner in Venice. We're going to Venice tonight. It'll be really fun, I think. <gasps> I forgot my phone. Can we go back? I'm so sorry. No. I'm, like, I'm absolutely not going out without a phone. Oh my god, Jules forgot her phone. <laughs> so we're in the Uber right now and we're gonna go back. We just got to Venice. So I showed you guys Hermosa and Manhattan Beach. So from what we've seen, Venice is a little more like LA, but still beach town. So it's like more city-like, but still beachy, which I really like a lot, actually. It's like really, really cool here. I've said really cool in this vlog like a hundred times, I'm sorry, but it definitely is in between LA and like Hermosa, I would say. But super cool. <laughs> I've actually not seen a single restaurant here that has chicken fingers. I was confused, like, are they extinct here? So, <laughs> remember a quesadilla and chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, like, does that not exist in California? Mackenzie and I really like LA, but also, like, we really like plain food. Like, we're both from the East Coast, and, like, we both order, like, chicken fingers or pizza, like, a lot, you know? Yeah, like, normal fried food. They don't have that here. It's, like, uh, like the appetizers are, like, avocado toast, Brussels sprouts, like, salad, beef. So like, much salad. There's so much salad served in California. It's ridiculous. Those are not appetizers I would ever try to Yeah, like, appetizers to me is, like, a loaded potato. <laughs> like, a loaded fried potato, like, with bacon and cheese or, like, cheesesteak egg rolls, you know? Right? So we're at Neighbor LA, and we got some apps. We're doing well. Kenzie and I are going to get pasta and Jules loves greens. We're gonna give her all the greens on this avocado toast because she's obsessed with arugula. I also love arugula, but Jules is like queen. Good morning, LA. It is our last full day here, which I'm so sad about, but I'm about to go to Melrose to a little coffee shop to meet up with a friend from high school, actually. Someone that I haven't seen since high school, but he lives out here, um, and he's such a sweetheart, so I'm gonna get coffee with him really quick, and then we're gonna go to the trading post today, which I'm literally so excited about. You guys know I love thrifting, and apparently it's, like, awesome for that, and just, like, really cool to walk around, a lot of knickknacks and clothes and all that, so I will show you guys that as well, but I need to figure out where I'm going because I'm late. Like, I just got coffee with Sean. It was so nice to see him. He's doing great. He literally works for the NFL out here and he's been here for like three months so he's doing really good. It was cool to talk to him and like someone from home and everything. Um, we are at called Zinc. We're at Zinc for like a breakfast slash lunch. I got eggs, uh, toast, prosciutto, a burger combo and just sitting here sipping my water and we're going to the training post after this. I really love LA. I'm like really sad to leave. So I will definitely be back. That's a fact. Okay, so we're stopping at the farmer's market first.
We're in Zimmerman right now. We stopped at a couple shops on the way from the farmer's market to the trading post. Look how beautiful those dresses. These dresses here are like thousands and thousands of dollars. We made it! Oh my gosh, I just filmed a haul of everything I got at the trading post today. I totally forgot to film it for YouTube, so head over to my Instagram reels and my TikTok to see what I got. I got some really cool stuff that I'm really excited about, including this denim jacket I have on right now. And look at the back. Can you see it? Super cool. Okay guys, unfortunately, it is our last dinner together. I can't believe that we've been here for as long as we have already, but it also feels like we've done so much. So we're gonna go to a Mexican restaurant and we're actually trying to shoot some content right now before we get our Uber. It's been a great trip so far. We're all exhausted, but like we're running on the adrenaline of the fact that we're not gonna be with each other in the next 24 hours. So we're just like going. <laughs> it's been really good so far. Content BTS, mirror adjustments. <laughs> Oh my god, these are real? I've never seen someone like candles like this. Like, so not cheek of you. This one has like crazy aerodynamics. Look at this right here. Like, really Anything for the gram. Here we go. Take two. Oh, got it. Perfect. Yeah. Good job, Jules. Okay, guys, and then my outfit for tonight is my trusty Shop Void white tank top that I always wear. This thrifted jean jacket that I got today. Jeans, Princess Polly, and then my shoes are Steve Madden. And over here we have our vlogger besties shooting content. Jules looks so hot in this. Wow, Jules, you look amazing. So we're at Jules' apartment right now and we got a leak. And like, I don't know how to fix it. Like, I've never had a leak like this before. It's like... <laughs> like we got a situation on our hands and like we have to rescue our friend's apartment it, 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 it's all like Apparently LA doesn't want us to leave man. Kind of a beat to it <laughs> Good morning Beverly Hills looking rough um, it is our last day here, not even. It is our last morning here. We're about to get breakfast and then literally head to the airport. But it's so funny, it's literally always sunny here and the one day that we're leaving, it is so cloudy and like disgusting out. And we were just saying that like, California is sad that we're leaving. Also, side note, this is why I fight with Mackenzie. Mackenzie and I are going to get breakfast together and this is how far ahead of me she walks. Like she doesn't even care. That's so not true. I'm like walking like a regular person. You're running like you're late to class. We're on our way to Egg Slot. We wanted to go to In-N-Out, but we didn't have but time. It's and it's also 9.30 in the morning, so we're getting Egg Slot. But you know what we noticed? Like, there is nowhere here that serves like a breakfast sandwich and hash browns or like potatoes. Like, you can't find potatoes like, in LA. Did you see eggs yesterday? They were like really healthy looking, like weird. Like yeah, like my eggs yesterday came with a side salad and not potatoes. And like, that wasn't an option. Like, it was only salad. They only eat salad over here, I swear. It's crazy. So we put an X on Egg Slot because there was nowhere to sit down and eat like if I'm gonna eat breakfast I need to like sit and they also had no potatoes which we knew going in but the vibe was just not it so we're going to a corner bakery to get like a little bit of a bigger breakfast because we're gonna be on the plane all day so we want to fill up before we get to the airport probably just gonna get like a egg sandwich but with bacon and like hash brown type situation and a coffee I've never seen one of these before. This is like an orange juice dispenser slash soda machine. So weird. In Trumi fashion, I'm packing my suitcase eight minutes before our Uber scheduled to take us to the flight. This is literally one of my carry-ons. Okay, packed in like five minutes and we're ready to roll. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. LA, I love you. I will definitely be back. We had an amazing trip.